It looks something like this. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. I got a new gift for Mother's Day from Matt and um, it's a Louis Vuitton and I really wanted one for upcoming move to Toronto, to Canada and I thought I should just share it with you guys and do an opening because every time I do one of these videos you guys seem to really enjoy them. Um, like a full review and showing all of the aspects of it and everything like that so I'm gonna open it up for the very first time with you guys on camera. I haven't taken it out of the box yet so. Let's open it. Okay, first I'm gonna open something that I bought myself. This was not part of the Mother's Day gift. It's something that I wanted that was an accessory to pretty much all of my bags. So for Louis Vuitton, I have a Neverfull in um, the Azul Demir. I have a Alma bag. I have a Speedy bag. And I have a Keep All 55. I love my Alma bag. I love it. Matt got it for me for either my birthday or Christmas last year and I haven't gotten to use it a whole lot because it's really hard with a baby because it's only got the handles. So I wanted to get the strap. This is, the, I believe, the medium strap, and I wanted it because it is sizable. And I bought the Grace, well, well, Matt bought me the Graceful for Mother's Day, and I wanted to be able to turn that into a crossbody as well. The reason I went with, um, well, here's the thing. Um, I talked to the rep at Louis Vuitton and they do not suggest putting a crossbody strap on the Neverfull because the, if you look, the little attachments are so thin that um, it's just not a great option. So I'm not going to use that for that, but I am going to use this, like I said, on all of my other bags, um, except for the keep all. It already comes with a crossbody, but I'm really excited about that. I just realized I have my ugly Fitbit on. I'm going to take that off because, you know, who wants that in my Louis Vuitton video? <laughs> all right, this is a big box. Whoa. And I hit the microphone. It's that big. Like, you guys can't even see me. Okay, I'm going to put this on the floor and take it out of the box because it's rather large. Oh, they put a bow on it. My other Louis Vuittons, they haven't done the bow. So that's, that's a nice touch. So it's in the dust protector. And I went with the classic monogram. And it is the graceful bag, like I said. I'm gonna close this really quick. Okay, so the graceful bag, when you put it next to the Neverfull bag, is pretty similar in size. Um, it's pretty similar in shape, and it's pretty similar in um, the ability of what it can carry. The thing that I like about it, though, is that it has a, a magnet. Can you see the magnet here and this magnet? And you can just flap, flap it over that side and close it that way but it's meant to be like that so that it hides. It has a single strap, but like I was talking about, I'm gonna put the crossbody right strap right here to be able to wear it over the shoulder or like I said, crossbody. When you open the bag, turn it over this way, it's got a full zipper side to side. This, this pouch inside of the Graceful is way larger than the pocket, not pouch, pocket is way larger than the pocket inside of the Neverfull, which is actually really, really nice. This is the Graceful MM, by the way, which is the biggest of the three, you know, because they do the MM, PM. Oh wait, on the Graceful, do they do a GM? This is the middle bag, MM is medium. Um, the inside is tan. They do have a hot pink, but they only have the tan in store. And the price on this one is $14.40. Um, Overall, I really like it. I like that it's got the tag, the luggage tag. It makes it feel a little bit more um, like, a, like a luggage piece versus a handbag for whatever reason. You can see it just opens up and the luggage tag does the, like just pops on like that. My Neverfull does not have a luggage tag. My Neverfull does not have a, but a um, magnet on it either. Um, and like I said, it's got a bigger pocket than the Neverfull. I think that um, I will take my divider, my, my purse divider from my Neverfull and put it in here because it should fit. It's actually a diaper bag um, divider that I have in my Neverfull to make this a little bit more functional, especially for travel. But I like that this is just the one strap that I can, put over my shoulder like this, carry it like this, carry it like this. Um, 
I just, I really like this bag. I think it's beautiful. The, the leather is so nice on it. This one's on the larger side. So if you're a mom like me and you want to do a designer bag instead of a diaper bag, this is a good size to do that with. Another thing, detail that I wanna mention, I know I talked about the luggage tag, are the rings. I feel like this is unique to um, this purse design. None of my other bags have like these, these really um, bold rings and I think that they're just really pretty hardware. Um, that's really the, the main aspect of the design of the purse that like stuck out to me as I thought that it just looked unique and pretty. And I almost, I almost got this in the Azul Demir, but I was like, it looks too much like my Neverfull. So that's why I went with the classic monogram. I was very close. Um, but this is just, this this print will just never go out of style. Not that the Demir will either. And I don't like the, the classic Demir personally. I just feel like, I feel like it looks a little bit like a knockoff. I'm sorry, I do. I just, it's just not my jam. I like this or I like the Azul. Um, but yeah really cool detail work there on the handle that I really like. And the handle actually is smaller on the edges and gets thicker in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's got the Louis Vuitton right there in the center. I also want to talk about, I have the Louis Vuitton wallet um, and the button on it is hot pink and it is scratched up so badly. And I want to say it's only a year old. And the clerk at Louis Vuitton told me to take it in the next time I'm, I have a few minutes and they'll take a look at it. And depending on how long it is that I've, I bought, how long ago I bought it, they'll either completely replace the wallet or they'll give me a new button on it. But if they give me a new button, it could take several weeks, which that's frustrating to be without your wallet for several weeks. Um, so I hope that they just swap it out because it definitely should not. I mean, like there's hardly any hot pink left to the button at all. So I hope that they just replace it because that's really irritating, but it does, it is monogrammed. So I, I will have them monogram on the inside pocket again. But anyways, this is the new bag. What do you guys think? Do any of you have this Louis Vuitton and um, do you like it? Um, it was on the lower end price wise compared to a couple of the other bags I was looking at. I looked at getting possibly the largest never full and I thought, I already have one never full. I don't want to do another one just bigger. Well, initially I did until I saw this one and then I was like, I want this one. And then there was a, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was, it, it basically looked like a piece of luggage. It was just a straight square and it was huge. And um, I'd never seen it before. I think it was 1800 and it had no real shape to it. it only, it did puff at the bottom so it could stand up straight like this. But um, other than that, it, it, it wasn't like, it didn't have like any pretty um, hardware to it or anything that like stuck out about it. It was pretty boring and um, I just, I decided against that and it was more expensive. This one was less expensive and yeah, I like this. I, I think this was a really good choice. So I'm excited. I I love it. Let me know in the comments, do you like it too? Do you have one of these bags? How is it held up? All of my Louis Vuittons with the exception of the button on my on my wallet have held up exceptionally well and um, have worn so well and they've been just a great purchase for me personally. Um, and I know I could turn around and sell them at any point and um, still get a good amount of money out of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know. I don't think I've done a video review on, on the Neverfull, like a full review and showed it to you, especially after I've used it, like used it hard the past um, two years. I could show you what what a bag looks like after two years of use, like like really show you what it looks like. Let me know if you want to see that because it, it needs cleaned and I can I can show you like truthfully when you use, when you love a bag as much as I do, what, what it'll look like. Um, designer wise. So let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see. Don't forget to visit me on my blog, AngelaLandra.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so much. Au revoir.